Hello, and welcome back to the Med Spa Growth and Profitability Podcast. I'm your host, April Ianazone, the Growth and Profitability Strategist, and I'm excited for today's interview because I'm joined by Jason Coons. He's a senior account executive at NFP. Jason has been licensed in the insurance industry for more than 20 years. He maintains the designation of a certified insurance counselor, demonstrating his expertise and commitment to the industry. Early in his career, he was intrigued with the unique insurance exposures presented by the medical spa industry. He dedicated himself to specializing in insurance solutions for this niche industry with great success. Representing the leading insurance companies available in today's market, Jason is able to tailor coverages to meet the medical spa's owner's specific needs. He has built large portfolios of clients over the years, but he's most proud of the relationships that he's built with his clients along the way. Jason, along with his team, provides an exceptional service and risk management solutions for his clients. With his extensive background in the medical spa insurance industry, Jason is able to personalize solutions that meet the needs of a wide variety of clients, both large and small, from across the nation. So thank you very much for joining us today, Jason. Thank you, April. I, I'm really excited to have you on, as I mentioned, because you specialize specifically in this industry, whereas most commercial insurance um, agents or insurance companies, they will take any business that comes their way and, you know, they're, for lack of a better word, jack of all <laughs> industries rather <laughs> than um, specializing in this. So I really am looking forward to giving our audience some really deep insights into actually ensuring their practice as well as their uniqueness as an owner um, of a medical spa. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad to help. So can you tell us a little bit of your background uh, for the med med spa industry? I've actually had the pleasure of working with the medical spa industry for over 15 years now. Um, Our program is is nationwide, so pretty much in any state that you're here in the United States, we're going to be able to help out. Um, I have the pleasure of working with um, medical spa owners from a one-person operation to multiple locations in multiple states. And so what I try to do is just tailor the insurance coverages based upon what the owners are needing. I love that. And I know there's a wide variety of different types of insurance, different types of coverage. Um, What do you think is needed for the medical spa owners? Great question. Um, When I'm usually working with the new medical spa owners, um, they're often surprised to find out that a traditional business owner policy does not provide the adequate coverage is needed tailored to a medical spa. Mm -hmm. Usually a typical medical spa has services and procedures that are offered that they're offering that require a physician's oversight. And that's usually where the higher liability comes into play. I would say that there's three main insurance coverages needed that every medical spa owner is going to need. Uh, The first one is going to be professional liability insurance coverage, and that is going to be providing the insurance coverage for the procedures and the services being offered to the general public. Mm -hmm. Uh, The the second is going to be general liability insurance. That's basically vicarious liability, trip and fall types of uh, scenarios and things of that nature. So basically the one that normal, um, every every other business should have. Exactly, yes. The general liability along with the third one, which would be um, equipment and office contents coverage for fire and theft type losses. The general liability and the contents are pretty universal across all businesses that, that would, they would be needing. I would say those would be the three main ones. And then depending upon if the medical spa has a staff, they would also be needing assistance with workers' compensation. Wonderful. Can you speak a little bit more about the, the first type Um because I'm curious, when medical spa owners come to you for insurance, do they realize they need that first type, or do they usually come to you for, for the second and the third? Well, the, great question. They know that they're typically needing insurance coverage, and what they are usually are concerned about is the liability, and nine times out of ten, they just recently bought some sort of large piece of equipment mm-hmm. that they obviously want to have being protected and stuff. And so that's usually where the conversation starts, but then when we kind of get into it, we start talking about their actual day-to-day operations and things because even though I said that the you know the big four there at the professional liability, the general liability, and the contents, 
once you start talking with the business owner, you can tailor insurance coverage as neededly. Because let's say, for instance, you know they have a lot of refrigerator items that they're going to be using. Well, then they're going to probably be needing spoilage coverage, um, things of that nature. Wow. Also, business income. You know, God forbid if there was like a fire loss. But for the professional liability, really what we're dealing with there is coverage for not only the corporation entity, but also the owners and the staff members working on behalf, and even independent contractors, because sometimes they may have relationships with a person that may be only um, working part-time on an independent basis, but they're yeah. still working on behalf of the corporation entity on that corporation's patients. Okay, so that that explains a lot. Thank you for sharing that. And that, again, is why you definitely want somebody that specializes in this industry to make sure that you're fully covered on every single basis and has already, um, they, they know the coverage you need and they're not really guessing for your industry. So I know that, you know, with our clients and across the board, most people are renting the the different spaces rather than owning the building. So can yes. you, um, or I'm sorry, renting a room to work out of in somebody else's practice. Can you speak yes. a little bit about that? Yeah, um, a lot of times there's a, a, a misassumption that if you're renting a room within another facility, the facility you're renting the room from is providing the, might be like the general liability and the business office contents coverage, and that's actually not the case. Even though you're renting a room within somebody else's facility, it's still your company and still your patients. So the big three that you're needing, like the professional liability, the general liability, and the office contents, is still needed even if you're on a smaller scale, just a one-person operation renting a room. Awesome. and. I am assuming that the actual owner of, of the bigger operation needs to have specific coverage too if they're renting the room, or how do they get out of that liability to, to be liable for somebody else just renting the space? Well, that's great. They usually do that with the landlord by doing, first of all, doing a sublease to identify it. And since it is a separate entity with their own separate clients, it's really not that big of a deal because the entity that's allowing the room to be rented has their own proper insurance coverages so therefore they're being covered and the person that's renting the room has their own separate coverages so they're being covered and so they do not co-mingle. Wonderful. That, that definitely makes sense. Now what type of insurance coverage is needed if the owner would like to offer their services anywhere they are licensed to? Uh, I refer to that as like a mobile med spa type of a business, and it's, and it's great there because sometimes, usually when they get started and or if that's their, their, their company focus, they would like the flexibility of being able to offer their services anywhere they're licensed to do so. And so um, working with an informed insurance agent is very important there because most of the medical spa professional liability policies out there is a designated location policy. So in the policy, by address, it's identifying where the procedures and services are being covered at. With a mobile med spa, we need to be with, lining up with an insurance company that's flexible and basically providing insurance coverage again where anywhere that person's licensed to offer their services at. Now typically, with those insurance companies that have the flexibility of providing the mobile medical spa insurance coverages, they still wanna make sure that the services that are being provided are gonna be in a sterile environment. Yes, that definitely makes sense. And I think that's something that is very important to think about because most people figure, okay, I have insurance, I'm covered wherever I want to go. So this is right. definitely something that you, uh, you want to address. And in fact, you know, we had um, a trade show or an expo for, for women um, that we produce, and we had different med spas that wanted to come and offer some free services to as an example while they were demonstrating and it's something that we had to make sure that they had a separate um, insurance policy just to cover these events it wasn't yeah. something where they could just come out so it's something you want to definitely be aware of whether you're just um, using it as a demo purpose at an event or whether you actually have a mobile spa and you are bringing it you know different areas or, or going to people uh, individually so definitely yes. makes sense um, what types of changes have you seen in the medical spa industry? Because there's been a lot of things happening in the last couple years. Well, that's a great question there. Um, usually, the insurance companies are typically reactionary. When they start seeing claim frequencies coming in from different aspects, 
then they obviously spend focus on it. There has been some different aspects of the medical spa that, that, that we've been seeing increased claims on. One, as, as a business owner, employment practice, you know, in situations where an employee is bringing forth an allegation against the company owner regarding either a, a sexual harassment, a wrongful termination, or a discrimination type of a claim. Hmm. Um, in addition to that, unfortunately, with um, cyber and data breaches, malware, um, those things can really be attacked. And it doesn't really matter if you're a medical spa owner or any sort of business owner. It can really cripple a company if all Absolutely. of a sudden you get hacked into and the, the madness and the ramifications it can cause because of that. And then uh, and probably a third category we've just been seeing some increases in, in claims on, unfortunately, is HIPAA compliance. Um, it can be as simple as a medical spa owner, you know, a patient asking for a copy of their reports and accidentally sending in somebody else's medical history reports by accident. Yeah. And, and it can be that simple sometimes. And all of a sudden you get in a HIPAA violation infraction. It's nice to have some prote insurance protection for that. You know, that makes perfect sense because, you know, even in, in daily life, right, we accidentally reply to the wrong email or, you yeah, know, we so attach the do. wrong file. It could happen, you know, and, and totally where the practice doesn't want to share other people's information, but it could happen and you have to be protected. And hopefully you have a, a client that understands, yes, you know, this, uh, this was a big mistake and you regret it and like all of these different things that you try to portray to them, but you never know, somebody may want to follow through. And if you don't have this in place, like you said, it can crumble your whole practice. Yes, very true. So what are the types of training that you're required to be eligible for insurance coverage? Well, again, um, most of the medical spas, well, not most, I, I would say medical spas are usually owned by either a physician or a non-physician. And so if it's physician owned, usually the, uh, the physician title or, an or like a nurse practitioner, those things of nature, the experience and expert, expertise that they already have typically um, gives the training that's already needed. But for estheticians and things of that nature, usually the medical spa insurance carriers typically like to see a minimum of 30 hours of training. Now, what's nice is the insurance companies do not dictate what institution has to, you know, they have to receive the training from. I mean, most reputable training institutions out there nationwide can mm -hmm. provide the proper training out there. And most training institutions typically have a 30 to 50 hour training process. And so that usually satisfies the insurance requirements. Awesome. That makes sense. And, and you were hitting it on the head when you said, you know, there's, there's two different types. There's a physician owner or a non-physician owner. And what we've been seeing is a lot of different like salons, uh, hair salons, or um, even tanning salons are they're now trying to offer these medical spa type services and they just assume that they can because they have the right equipment or um you know they purchase the equipment but they're not overseen by a physician um yes. so what are the types of questions for those that are listening that don't necessarily have all the legalities in place for offering these type of services and maybe they do want to transition to offering more metal spas what are the types of questions that they do need to be asking their insurance company so it ultimately will hit uh raise the red flag for themselves saying oh we're not we're not okay doing this so just make sure I understand the question. You're talking about how a medical spa owner can seek out a reputable insurance agent to work with? Uh, not yet, but I do, I do okay. want to ask that one. I guess um, they're not really medical spas, but they want to offer medical spa services. So maybe they uh, buy pieces of equipment and they, they have commercial insurance, but they, they're not licensed or don't have the insurance for a medical spa. So gotcha. like, let's say a tanning salon now wants, they have an esthetician that they brought on staff and they want to offer these, these different services. Um, what are the questions they should be asking their commercial uh, insurance company to say where it would throw up a red flag? Hey, you can't be doing this or you need to be bringing um, some other a physician in order to do this. Well, I mean, it's a great question there. Usually what happens is 
when they are looking to start offering a service that they've not offered in the past, the first thing that they should do is definitely talk to that new service with their current agent. Okay. Now, a lot of times when a company is transitioning to kind of growing their company, a lot of times they grow out of their current insurance program. And so like you mentioned, tanning salons. Um, if a tanning salon all of a sudden wanted to start offering laser hair removal as an example, they would definitely need to be changing insurance policies from a tanning lawn type of a policy to more of a medical spa policy because medical spas can definitely um, help out with the tanning industry because there's a lot of tanning services that are tied to medical spas and things of that nature. But if you're just strictly a tanning salon that's kind of morphing into medical spa services, most tanning insurance carriers are not even, are comfortable with that. And so then at that point in time, need to be working with an insurance agent who can line you up with medical spa insurance coverage based upon the new services you're now looking to offer. Perfect. And so just to, to recap that, if you're adding additional services, you definitely want to double check with your, your current coverage because even if in, um, I'm sorry, even with a medical spa, um, when you're adding additional services, you want to double check to make sure that you're fully covered because you don't want to assume that you're covered for everything. Um, it's definitely something that you need to have written out in your policy. Now, yeah. Jason, what is um, what are some of the key things that the owners or um, the directors need to really look for in an insurance agent? Ah, uh, um, I would say first of all, knowledge in the industry. Um, a lot of times a business owner will already have some sort of relationship with an insurance agent. Could be their homeowner's insurance agent, could be their automobile insurance agent. And so out of ease, they'll go to like their homeowner's insurance agent as an example because they know that they do business insurance and they, they easily may do some you know, Main Street business insurance. But what you're really looking for there is somebody who has knowledge in the medical spa industry that, that are very familiar with the professional liability claims made insurance policies that are associated with this particular industry first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I would say you want to be working with an insurance agency that is an independent insurance agency that don't just doesn't just represent one or two companies that can actually work with you, get you everything you're needing, but then obviously take that information and shop around with multiple insurance carriers to not only making sure that they're tailoring the insurance coverage appropriately, but at a very competitive price, of course. That's a nice shop around way to do it. Absolutely. And then I would say probably lastly, as working with an agency that has a team approach. Um, it just seems like in today's society, having a second pair of eyes or a third pair of eyes is really important, especially in the medical spa industry because mm -hmm. it is a very fast-paced industry and there's always seems like there's new procedures and services being launched out there and mm -hmm. you know sometimes when there's a new procedure out there in the industry the owners are so anxious about going out there and doing it you want to make sure you're working with the team that does the research and the background to make sure that this is an endeavor that's going to work out long periods of time so you know I would say you know knowledge in the industry a nice independent insurance agency gets you some shopped around rates and a, somebody can bring you the team approach. And with the um, independent insurance agency, that is definitely, um, they will have your best interest in mind. They're not just going to, you know, get you the best policy for you, but like you said, shop it around to where you're going to get the best coverage and the best value. Um, and yes. I love that you mentioned that they really want to be industry focused. And when you're coming to them with new products or services, they already know that uh, those products have been introduced in the industry. You don't have to really educate them on those new products when, when you're going to see them. Um, I have a couple more questions for you and then I'm, I'm gonna let you jump off. Um, my next question is, when you're working with the, uh, the owner of a medical spa, can you also help them with other personal type insurance or um, coverage for for health insurance or life insurance, or is it something that you just really stick to the the commercial policies? Well, myself personally, I, I do a lot with the medical spa business owners, but as an agency, NFP, yes, we we try to help out everybody. So for us with their home, their auto. Uh, life insurance, disability insurance, long-term care insurance. We, we try to help everybody out there because if our customers have 
will pretty much have a need for all of these things. And so we try to be a one-stop shop for them if we can. I love that. And that goes back to finding one that has that good support team around them. Um, so a, an agency that has that good support team. So Jason, where can, if, if our med spa owners are based in the U.S. and they want to work with you, where can they learn a little bit more about you? Um, probably doing one of two things. Um, I'm, I'm not, uh, you can reach out to me via the, my website and my email address. My email address is jason.coons at nfp.com and also just picking up the phone and giving me a call because I like the opportunity to talk with medical spa owners, especially new medical spa owners early on because everything that we've talked about so far is insurance related but a lot of this has to be doing with their relationship with their attorney too to make sure they're up to speed with state laws making sure that their consent forms and medical history forms or, you know, the T's have been crossed and the I's have been dotted, so to speak. And so it does take a right team to make things happen there. Awesome. And that is a very good point. So even if you're not quite ready for the insurance policy, uh, you definitely want to reach out and, and have that consultation with you. I am going to actually put your email, your phone number, and your website below in the contact, um, yeah. not contact the uh, the show notes as well as on the web on our website, so everybody can find you and, and learn a little bit more. And thank you for sharing your knowledge today. Definitely insightful. Well, April, thank you so much. I appreciate the opportunity. And yes, please help people give me a call. I'd be happy to help them out with any sort of questions they may have. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you, April. Are you ready to stop visualizing how amazing your med spa could be and actually start living it? Now, I'm not talking in the far future or in a couple years from now. I'm talking about right now in the present. So are you really ready? I'm April Ayanna Zone. My team and I focus on helping med spas rapidly scale their business. So here's your seven to eight figure answer. Set up a free million dollar marketing call with one of my growth strategists today. There is zero obligation, no strings attached to this call. In fact, we deliver so much value during this call, you'll walk away knowing exactly what your next best business move should be. So click the button now and book in a time that works best for you. We're so excited and cannot wait to see the transformation of your med spa.